your love is kind. Your love is patient. You feel my heart. With so much peace and joy You're amazing You make my life feel brand new You're amazing Correct right. You make my life feel Good morning <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen. Jesus, you love me too much. Oh. As you're coming in, I want you to go ahead and uh, you know share this video on your page. <clears throat> so we can get into business this morning real quick. Uh thank you very much. As you guys are coming in, I can see a whole lot of people popping up at this time. I want you guys to let me know is the audio good or not? You know, so that I'm not going to be here just talking to myself and you guys are not able to hear me. I want to know, is this audio good or not? So, as you're coming in, please go ahead and just share the video and just let me know, give me a feedback, let me know if the audio is good or not. Uh, thank you. Thank you as you're, coming, as you're coming in right now. Please invite a friend. You guys can go ahead and do a watch party about this video on your page. Let more people connect. So that we can be able to get to the bottom of this today we're going to be talking about relationship school singles connect also uh but you know a lot of people don't understand what school is all about education is all about uh it's not until you go to a regular school before you can be educated uh you know situations in life can actually make you to have wisdom can actually give you understanding also and uh, you can learn from other people that have been through so many other things and that's what we're going to be discussing this morning by the grace of god so please go ahead and share the video on your page uh, as we're getting ready to get into the real stuff this morning you're not a man you never lie jesus you love me too much too much of too much your excess love. Jesus, you love me too much. Too much your, too much your excess love. Jesus, you love me too much. Too much your, too much your excess love. all right all right thank you very much ladies and gentlemen god bless you and welcome 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 uh as we come together uh, let me give you guys another song this one is not a nigerian song but listen this song is fantastic i don't know i don't know uh, from which country this is from but i love it i so much love it you know what i'm saying let's try <laughs> Yeah. As we're getting ready to go straight into the program today, please go ahead, share the video on your page. Let more people connect. Alright, come on. No, 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 no. I don't know what to say, but I love it. Come on, go ahead and share the video on your page. I want to see you clicking on the share button as you're coming in real quick. I'm still not able to actually see you as you're coming in, but listen, I'm still going to shout out to you guys. Just give me some time. Uh, I will still be able to do so. I will still be able to just to raise a lead to all you guys out there. It's still a little bit difficult for me right now uh, to be able to uh, 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 see people that are coming in right now. I really don't know. I don't understand the language, but I love the song. Mm-hmm. 
All right, let's bring it down. Let's bring it out. Thank you very much, everybody, for coming. Thank you for sharing the video on your page. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you. Uh, uh, this morning, we are going to be going straight into uh, the unfinished business of relationship. Unfinished business of relationship. So that we will be able to... Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I can see Olubu Sayo. How are you doing? That's my PA right there. <laughs> it's a South African song. Yeah, thank you very much. Doing, I did doing. Thank you very much for connecting. Eline Dogbe, I salute you also. God bless you. Grace Ikushika, how are you? If you're my organ, God bless you. Thank you very much. Uh, ABS, Ola Dakbo, thank you. God bless you. Uh, Tracy Gavin. God bless you. Thank you very much for connecting. We're going straight to the unfinished business of relationship this morning. I want to let you guys understand that relationship is not easy. I always say that it's a very complicated thing uh, created by God. God created marriage. He founded it. And uh, we are all the ones, we are the ones that are inside of relationship right now. Many people believe that Jesus Christ is not married. God is not married. But the Bible made us to understand that the bride of Christ is the church. That is you and I. We are the bride of Christ. So Christ is himself is experiencing a relationship. A relationship between man and God. Experiencing difficulty in relationship also. He's trying to get our attention though we are not really there to listen to him. So this is, these are the things that, you know, Christ himself is going through. No wonder the Bible says, Husband, love your wife as Christ loved the church, that he gave his life unto the church. He died for the church. Even though he died for us, we are still not, you know, listening to God. We are still not listening to Jesus. Okay, so there is a, there is a kind of a complication when it comes to relationship. To have a relationship with people <clears throat> is not easy. I want to let you know that I don't want you guys to beat yourself up or tell yourself you are a failure uh, because your relationship is not working the way you want it to work. All right, it's actually affecting every one of us. A lot of us were going to marry through marital difficulty because two people coming together to become one is not easy. Two people coming from different backgrounds, coming from different family, different understanding, different level of education, different level of exposure, uh, coming together to become one is not easy. Somebody will want to go to the left and somebody want to go to the right all right good morning everybody thank you for connecting go ahead and share the video on your page let's get more people to connect uh, uh this morning so it's a little difficult for people to uh, be able to find their husband find their wife uh no wonder you're going to see a whole lot of single people in town uh right now and that's what they're using right now to tie a lot of people down in abusive relationship uh they're going to tell you that okay other people are not getting husband or a lot of people are single today or even their beautiful sisters and some brothers will sit back with money they're not able to find their husband they're not able to find their wife so you better remain where you are <laughs> and just continue to suffer you know that's what i'm saying okay so not everybody's going to get married i want you guys to have that at the back of your mind hey there is no there is no crime in trying there is no crime in trying to find somebody all right you may not be able to find the right person until you die i'm not going to lie to you all right but some people will believe that okay in Kotoba and Balama, you see I, I will just get married to whatever it is that i see all right when you get married to whatever you see you are going to end up in difficulty in a situation that you may not be able to get out of you may end up being depressed you may end up committing suicide uh, you may end up not enjoying your life and then you will find out that relationship is more of a killer uh, that a kind of a deliverer in that your own situation. So a lot of people are giving up on life because of the wrong situation, I mean wrong relationship. So you have to be very careful how you jump into relationship, what you're doing there, what you're looking for, and don't be desperate. Because other people are getting married doesn't mean that you have to get married by fire, by force. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning, Savage. God bless you, but Miss Savage, thank you very much for connecting by the grace of God. So, so many people are out there today, they are longing to get married. Many people are out there, they are looking for ways of getting out of their relationship. I cannot tell you how many people have counseled this last month looking for a way to get out of their relationship. They actually they came out with me. They said, Pastor, I am done. I'm just done with this relationship. I can't continue anymore. 
All right, but you are out there, you're thinking, oh my God, I got to get married, I have to get, all my friends are married already, what am I doing outside and all kinds of stuff, I need to get married, either it will kill me, I have to find somebody. And at the same time, you are not putting into consideration that you might find someone that is not the right person, someone that may be abusive, somebody that may not be, you know, the kind of person that will give you peace. And I believe it's better for you to be single than for you to enter into a relationship that will kill you or a relationship that will destroy your joy, a relationship that will end up killing you and making you miserable in life. All right? You see, these are the things. I'm not saying God is not answering prayers. I'm not saying God is not a miracle worker. I'm not saying that we cannot pray and God will answer. Understand that God is not, but it's just that we have to be real. Just be real. We have to live a real life. As you're actually trying to have faith and believe in God, so also you have to be real to yourself. Okay? Marriage is not a do or die. Uh, it's not a do or die. I, I, I know a lot of people who are very good people, single sisters, single brothers, who are not married, but they have their own children. And, and they're living good lives. I know a lot of people that are divorcees, that are living, they're living a good life. All right? So you are not supposed to be desperate. The moment you're desperate, you are going to end up in a situation that you may not be able to come out of. Okay, we Christians always want to have faith. We preach about faith. Oh, everything can be all right. Things can be good. Everything will be beautiful. But we f we refuse to tell the people that okay, this is faith. It, it, it might not feel like the way you're talking about it. Uh, this relationship will not look like the way you're talking about it. You may have faith that it's going to be good, but listen to me, that will still be ups and down, ups and down. So, and, and that's why I'm coming to you guys in Dallas <clears throat> with the relationship school. You cannot make it through relationship without going to the relationship school. You have to learn the do's and the don'ts. You have to go through, you know, listen to other people's experiences. You need to sit down when other people are sharing what they're going through in relationship and how they are coping uh, so that you yourself will prepare yourself. As a single brother, you need to be at a relationship school. You have to learn what it is. To be in a relationship for real. I'm not talking about <laughs> what your pastor is teaching you. I'm not talking about what your pastor is teaching you. Uh, you know, the church that God can do it. Hallelujah. God can great. God can bless your marriage. God can deliver you. God can give you a man. I can see a man coming. I love that kind of, you know, you know, you know ministration also. I do it sometimes. You know, I, I tell my people that. <laughs> I tell my people that God can do it all. It's going to be well. God can transform you. Happiness can come. Joy can come. Prosperity can come. But whenever I go out to do relationship school, I tell people the truth. The truth about relationship. Relationship is not a bed of roses. I'm telling you. It's not bread and butter at all. It's for mature people that are ready to face fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry if I'm scaring you. I'm not supposed to scare you. You're supposed to actually know what it is because there's going to be a vacuum in your life that you're going to be praying to God for God to fill it. And, and that vacuum is for you to have a companion. And by the time you get the companion, the companion will not just come and everything will be fine. Everything will go the way you're thinking about it, the way we're dreaming about it, and stuff like that. I will just get married and then we we'll start having sex and we have babies and we we'll have fun. I will go to Cancun and we we'll travel to Nigeria. I will go buy a car, we we'll buy a big house, we we'll buy this. It doesn't happen that way. It won't go that way. You know, you, sometimes you will be, you will be sad. Sometimes you're gonna cry. Sometimes you're gonna be depressed. Sometimes you're not gonna feel good. There are times you feel good. There are times everything's going right. There are times you guys are gonna make love passionately. You're gonna love it. You know, everything is gonna be fine. But there's gonna be a lot of times that things are not gonna go your way. They're not gonna go the way you dream of it. All right. That doesn't mean that it's not relationship. It's relationship. You are not just ready for it. You are not prepared for the relationship. So preparing you for a relationship means that you have to come to the relationship school. You have to be able to learn the good, the bad, and the ugly of relationship. And that's where I come in. That's what I do. I teach people the good, the bad, and the ugly of relationship so that you have a mindset ready to face relationship. All right? When you go into a relationship, everything is always right. The guy is promising you heaven and heart, promising you a nice car, promising you a befitting marriage, telling you I will die for you, I will give you the moon, I will give you the sun, I will buy you this, I will take you everywhere. I'm going to stand by you. Either, either, either the devil likes it or not, you're always going to see me at your back. Anytime you look back, I'll be there. I will, I will celebrate your birthdays all the time. Our wedding anniversary will be celebrated all the time. I will buy you a new car every year. I will never hurt you. <laughs> I 
I will love your mommy, I will love your daddy, and I'm going to take them as my own dad and mom too. Your kid is going to be, is going to be the joy of my heart. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to allow you to do whatever it is that you want to do. I will send you to school. You're going to become registered nurse. You're going to go and become a professor. I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to do that for you. You will be so happy. I will live my life making you happy in your life. You're going to be the cockroach in my cupboard. You're going to be the sugar in my tea. You're going to be this. You're going to be that. You see, that's exactly what you listen to right now. <laughs> That's what you stupid idiot of you. You're listening to all of that stuff that the guy is saying. He's going to say that for the next two years. And then one day you're going to say, I do. And then by the time you say, I do, the next day you're going to wake up on his bed in his own house by yourself. Your family are gone. Your friends are gone. The musicians are done playing. The jollof rice is over. Now he's expecting you to go into the kitchen and start cooking. You know what I'm saying? You have to cook jollof rice. You have to cook uh, fried rice. You have to cook amala. You have to cook all those things before you now get dressed up. I say you want to go to work and stuff like that. And then you come back and you begin to see that, okay, this guy is angry. Oh my God, this guy is actually mean. Oh my God, this guy is about to slap me. This guy is about to kick me. Oh my God, this guy is using the F word on me. And then that's when it's going to be done on you to say, Kai, what's wrong with all the promises? What about me being your sugar in your tea? How about me being the only cockroach in your wardrobe? How about you standing with me? What? <laughs> then that's when you come back and you realize that, come on, this is relationship. You know, you come and say, this is relationship. All right? So that's when you're not going to start learning on the job. You see, learning on the job is so difficult. Is That's what they call the trial by error. You're going to learn on the job, either you like it or not. Then you're going to start going back to your parents and report to your dad, report to your mom. Oh, this is, you know, you. Then your dad will be telling you, you have to go back there. You have to go back there. You have to continue to endure. And that's where your understanding will become shallow because you won't get it. Why is my daddy sending me back to a place where I'm being abused? It's because your dad, he realized that you're not ready for a relationship. You are not prepared for a relationship. So you need to go and learn on the job. You need to be able to stand by yourself and stand for yourself. You have to be able to stand firm and confront every situation coming your way. All right? Your daddy is not supposed to be fighting for you. If you're a woman and there, you're in a relationship and your daddy is always calling your old man, calling your old man, calling your old man, how about if the daddy is no more? By the time your dad will die, who's going to call him? Who's going to be calling and fighting for you? You have to stand up and fight for yourself. You see, that is why it is very good for people to be ready for a relationship before you get into a relationship. Learn about relationship, understand relationship so well before you jump into a relationship. It's going to help you to be able to fight your battles when they come. Now, I don't want you to get me wrong. Relationship is a very sweet thing. It's a beautiful thing to enter into. You're going to have people. You're going to have your husband with you all the time. Your wife is there with you all the time. You are not going to be alone by yourself. And like I was saying on Sunday, is it people believe that I don't need people. You don't need people. What are you talking about? All right, what are you talking about? We were actually reading from the book of John chapter 5 yesterday from the beginning to the end of it. The Bible was talking about a man that had been sick for 38 years. And he has been by the pool of Bethsaida for 38 good years. He couldn't walk, he couldn't move, he couldn't do anything. So whenever the angel comes to steer the water, he, 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 is not able to, he doesn't have any man to be able to pick him up and put him in the pool. I'll put him in the pool. No, it's not fair. You don't say it. All right? So one day, after 38 years, Jesus Christ came over to that same pool and he was able to locate that man himself alone. And Jesus Christ said, I'm going to break protocols on you. I don't have to wait for the angels to come and stir the water. I'm just going to tell you what to do. Do you want to be here? The man said, I don't have a man. Is he talking nonsense? Is he telling stories? No, he's not telling stories. He understood that every man in life needs a man. Okay, the Bible, the Bible says it is not good for a man to be alone. It is not good for a man to be by himself. You need somebody. I was watching a video online recently, uh, and, and the man said, uh, you, you were given back to by somebody. Somebody begged you when you were born. And he, and he said, somebody, somebody, somebody helped you to walk. Okay? He said, somebody, somebody helped you, 
uh, 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 to take your first step? Is it somebody changed your diapers for you? Is it somebody fed you? Okay, then, then somebody taught you in school. Somebody married you. Somebody loved you. Somebody, you know, cooked your food. Somebody had sex with you. And then by the time you're old, you're going to die. When you die, somebody's going to bath you. Somebody's going to dress you. Somebody's going to put you in your casket. Somebody's going to carry you to the place where they'll bury you. Somebody's going to lower your casket into the, into the grave. Somebody's going to cover your grave. And some people are going to cry on your burial. You see, that, that means that you cannot live your life by yourself. You can't live your life by yourself. You have to live your life with people all around about you. All right? So you, Jesus Christ understood that. All right? But the man said, I don't know anybody. But you need people around you. But one thing that happened is that Jesus Christ was able to break that protocol. He said, you don't need any man. Arise, take up your bed, and go home. And that was when he stood up. After 38 years, he was able to walk for the first time. 38 years after, pick up his bed, and he walked away. You know, healed, transformed. So he walked away. But what am I saying this morning is that you need somebody. Marriage is sweet. Marriage is beautiful. The companionship part of it, okay? The togetherness part of it, the, 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 the sharing of life together is very, very important. It's the most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. But you have to be ready for it. You can't just jump into marriage because you look at somebody is handsome or he's beautiful, he's doing this, he's doing that. You can't just jump into a relationship because of that. You need that education. You need that experience. You have to be matured enough. And maturity is all about your knowledge. It's about what you know. It's about the experience of life that you pass through in your life. That is the, that's, that's how maturity comes. You have to be ready for relationship. To go into a relationship, be ready for it. Look at it. You see, this this I, I have a list of, of singles, singles in Nigeria, singles in America. I'm talking about over 700 to 900 people already registered for relationship. Registered for singles connect. I'm telling you, you see, sometimes I get so scared. I was like, wow, what am I going to do with all these names? How am I going to walk these people out? You see, so many of them are fake. How do you know the fake ones? Many of them are fake. You see, you see all these lists, so many of them here are fake. How do you deal with the issue? You don't even have any understanding of how to deal with the issue. People are just fake. All right, so relationship is difficult. You can't just go into a relationship because somebody is looking fine. You can't go into a relationship because he's got a good job. You can't go into a relationship because he's a member of the choir. You can't go into a relationship with him because he's an associate pastor of a church. You have to learn how to choose. We have to go and find. We have to find the right person. The Bible says he will find a wife, not a girlfriend. He will find a wife, find a good thing, and then obtain favor from the Lord. So, the married ones, they need education. You, it's, it's not too late. You can still visit your foundation. That's why I'm bringing the relationship school to Dallas, Texas. Okay, the Singles Connect is coming to Dallas, Texas also on the 9th of February. The 9th of this month, I'm talking about this coming, this coming Saturday. This coming Saturday in Dallas, Texas, we are going to be coming together as married people, as singles people in the evening. Evening by 6 o'clock in the evening for the relationship school. That's where I'm going to open up a lot of secrets to you guys. You will understand. You are not going to condemn yourself anymore. You are not going to beat up yourself anymore after that after that class, okay? Because relationship is not just easy, all right? You are a divorcee, be there, okay? You are a widow, you are a widower, be there. Uh, because you're going to learn a lot of things that will actually help you if you are about to enter into another relationship. Not just only relationship between man and woman, it will help you between relationship between friends, uh, also, between you and your friends, your church members also, relationship is very, very important and it's going to help you between the, you know, in the relationship between you and God, all the, all, always, I mean, or, 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 at the same time, all right, so I'm coming into Dallas uh, uh, in the evening, in the evening by 6 o'clock in the evening, that's when the relationship school is going to come up for singles, widows, widowers, and the married people, be there, and in the morning, by 10 o'clock in the morning, it that's when the singles connect is going to come up. The singles connect is the moment whereby I'm going to present the singles I have, and then you are going to come in as a single. You're going to join uh, the rest of the other singles out there, and we can be able to find somebody for you anywhere, any part of the world that you're actually interested in. And even right there, in the midst of the people that we have 
right there, you may be able to find somebody. I remember I just uh, got back from Houston, and one particular sister, you know, came for a meeting in Houston, Texas, uh, for the Singles Connect, and he found a brother. And, and they, 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 they called me after. And, I mean, the lady called me after. He said, I found the brother. The brother is actually talking right now. And this, this. I said, what is he talking about? He said, well, you just want to be a friend. I said, good, that's fine. So, they did. <coughs> They've been talking ever since then. I've been following up with them and stuff like that. And I believe it's a good relationship. So you'll never know. You'll be able to find somebody right there. All you need is just the right place, the right time. All right? Somebody's going to locate somebody. There's somebody created for you that you might locate at a point in time, a particular place in time. So make up your mind. Write down that date. It's on the 9th of February, this month. I'm talking about this coming Sunday. I mean, Saturday. We are going to bring Singles Connect to Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas, by the grace of God. And, and, and you make sure you're there because I have a list of other 700 to 900 other young people all over the world, spread out all over the world. You're talking about in Nigeria, in Canada, in Europe, you know, generally here in America. And they are ready for relationship. Some of them are already taking my relationship class and they're getting ready, they're getting matured already. And uh, listen to me. The moment we are able to connect you, we are not connecting you to a husband. We are not connecting you to a wife. We are connecting you to a friend. So you can build up your relationship from friendship level. It's always very important for you to build up your relationship from friendship level because you will be able to learn a lot about the person. You will know the person you are about to enter into a relationship with or you are about to get married to. Okay, You guys are going to learn to talk as friends. You're going to learn to understand each other. You're going to learn to, you know, to be able to cope together and be able to know the do's and the don'ts. You will know the, you can see the red flag, you can see the yellow flag, you can see the green flag also uh, before you enter into any kind of deeper relationship. So that's why we always like people to start from being friends. So communicate. Don't rush into having sex. That's going to mess up your life. Sex is going to mess you up. And that's what I always emphasize. When you are friends, you don't use your banana. It's not the right thing to do. Your cooking must stay in your pants. You don't bring it out. You don't do nothing. You don't show him the cleavage. You don't show him your breast. Don't show him anything. All right? Just be friends. You know, talk about politics. Talk about church. Talk about God. Talk about job. Talk about friends. When you hang out, you're trying to see what kind of friends he's keeping. You're trying to listen to his conversation with his friends. You're trying to listen to our conversation with our own friends. You want to know the kind of friends he's keeping. Are they party people? Are they Aristo kind of people? Are they godly people? Are they, you know, are they miserable people? You want to be able to look at all that. And that's why a lot of men, they, they end, you know, they end up blaming their wife after they get married. Oh, is a is a good wife. No, 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 no. You are the one that picked the wrong person. Okay? I didn't mean you have taken your time you have taken your time to study the person. You will know the kind of person you are in a relationship with. So, we always want people to start from being friends. So, we are not connecting you to a husband or we are not connecting you to a wife. We are only connecting you to a friend. You know, after some time, you may come back and say, Pastor Shola, I'm no longer interested in this friendship. And then we cut it off, and then we now connect you to a different person, and you keep going, and you keep going. And you keep going your ways. So, you know, but one thing I always want to let people understand is this. There are so many fake people in the world today. Uh, because somebody, you know, because... Because somebody is handsome, because somebody is educated, because somebody is in America doesn't mean the person is good. Uh, because somebody is actually in America doesn't mean the person is good. Uh, is in Europe, is in Canada, doesn't mean the person is good. You have to be very, very patient. Be patient enough to study. You don't just jump in bed with just anybody. You just don't rush into a relationship with just anybody. You have to take your time. Because the person is found in the church doesn't mean the person is not a demon. All right, there are so many fake people inside church. And you will find out that they will enter into the choir. They, they might become the choir mistress, the choir master. Because their associate pastor don't, make, don't mean that they're good people. All right? So you have to take control of who you connect with. And that's what we teach. That's what we expose to people. That's what we use to get you ready. You have to put your walls all around about you. Always know who you want to lay, lower your guards for. All right? Don't just lower the guard and let just everybody come into your life. I have interviewed over 700 people for Singles Connect. I want to let you know a lot and a lot of them are fake. 
Fake people. It's not many of them are married in Nigeria and they are in America. They're looking for paper and they come to you. They look very handsome. They're tall. They are very soft spoken. And then they talk about God all the time and all kinds of stuff. Let me tell you, they are only looking for a time to penetrate you, get you to marry them. They get the green card from you, boom, and then they are going to mess you up and then you're going to be depressed. Some of you, uh, some of the sisters are actually right now in the psych hospital. Uh, many of them are actually uh, somewhere being treated for mental issues, mental illness. Uh, and it's not from juju, it's not from anything, it's just from heartbreaks and all kinds of stuff. Okay? So you need to understand that. Don't be blind. Don't just jump into it and be desperate because the guy is handsome. You start parading him on Facebook. Take time before you take picture with somebody and put it on Facebook and say, my boo. He said, when you say my boo, the person is going to boo you one day if you don't take your time. And that's what we teach in the Singles Connect for people to take their time. Okay? Time, time, time. Time. Many people say, oh, time is going, oh, I'm almost hot here, I'm this, oh, I'm actually desperate, I'm in a hurry, I'm in a hurry. You will be in a hurry, you will enter one chance. You will be in a hurry, you're going to enter into a situation you cannot come out of. Okay, that's why you need to take your time. Don't hurry, don't, don't be in a rush to enter into anything. Don't believe all the promises. They will give you all this stuff, they will tell you all this stuff, they're sweet and stuff. Don't just hurry up to believe them. Let time pass. Let them continue to do them. I always tell people this, in the mind of a man, a woman is in the mind of a man. Let me paint this picture to you guys so that you will see. Now, the moment a guy sees a woman, the very first thing we see is your sexuality. Uh, we see how big your breast is, how pointing uh, the breast is, how big your backyard is, your legs and your leaves, and all kinds of stuff. Oh my God, the eyes is green, or it's, it's got the blue eyes and all that kind of stuff. These are the things we look at. And when we see that, we get attracted to those things. Uh, and when we get attracted to those things, the very first thing we want to do is to be able to actually get you to see us. So uh, we start parading ourselves in a way that you'll notice us and then we want to just come, get your attention and we come to you. So the very first thing we do is when we come to you, we tell you all the good things about us, you know, all the extraordinary things that we have already achieved. Oh, I'm a manager. Uh, I just bought my new BMW. I live in a mansion in Manhattan. I do this, I do that. So we tell you all those things that can attract you towards us and you'll be like, whoa, you know, and, and, all this. and it's only a good digger that will be running after the wealth of a man. Okay, you yourself as a woman are supposed to be able to stand by yourself and be able to achieve things. Uh, you're not supposed to be a, to allow yourself to be carried away because somebody is having money or somebody is living in Manhattan or probably is buying a BMW. It's something you can do for yourself. Or understand, it's only a gold digger that will actually be, uh, uh, you know, that, 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 will, that will yell and shout. Okay, be excited because somebody is saying, I bought a BMW. On the same so, so, so that's the stuff. All right. So when, when when they capture you like that, they take you out on the first date, and you know on the first date, you the next thing you want to do is just to just give it up. Uh, you you allow them to hit the cookie the very first day, and, and that's it. <laughs> and that's that's a problem, and that, and that, and that will be the end of you. That will be the end of you right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for listening. I, I want you guys to meet me in Dallas this coming Saturday. This Saturday, you're going to go on my page. You're going to see the link on my page. Register yourself real quick. We have 20 seats uh, available for the Singles Connect uh, at this point in time. Uh, we have 25 seats available for the um, for the Relationship School. Uh, people have been registering for the past few months. Uh, I want you to go all you up right now. Go and register yourself. Go on my page. You're going to see the link on my page for the Singles Connect. You see it there for the single i mean for the relationship uh, school you're going to see the link over there to click it and go and register yourself real quick and i want to let you know that you will never never regret coming to that school in the name of jesus for people that wants to come in for the relationship school the relationship school for couples is a hundred dollars for the two of you i should come in for singles is fifty dollars uh i should come in but one thing i'm going to do is that uh if you are coming to the gate uh, you want to make your payment by the gate we are going to give you discount uh by the grace of god but it's possible for you not to have a seat if you wait until you want to pay by the gate because we only have 25 seats available so i think it's better for you to go and register right now online for hundred dollars and fifty dollars if you're single are uh, coming in for the relationship school in the evening but for the morning uh for the singles connect is a free event 
a free event in the morning between 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock. It's a free event uh, for you guys. But when you come for relationship school, we have materials we're going to be giving you. I think we're going to be giving you guys two books. Two books uh, are going to be given out to the people and other materials will be given out to you guys during that particular class uh, by the grace of God. And for you guys that are out there, you've not gotten a copy of my book yet. Uh, I still have copies of my book available. It's going to be one of the books that you're going to be seeing inside of that package when you come for relationship school. Uh, but for you guys that are not coming for relationship school, that you are not in Dallas, you want to grab a copy of my book, go hurry up and go on Amazon real quick. Go on Amazon real quick and go and get a copy for yourself. And go and get a copy for yourself. Or maybe you give me a phone call. Make, make a call to me in the studio uh, uh, today, tomorrow, whenever. Uh, through 405-550-5135. 405-550-5135. And I'm going to be able to ship the copy right to your door expressly. All right? So... Oh, you're going to get a copy. If you live in Dallas, just wait. It's going to be part of the books we're going to be giving out to you guys during the conference because I'm going to be teaching out of this book. Uh, and there's a lot, a lot to learn from this book. If you grab this copy right here and you're able to finish it like in one hour or two hours, you're going to learn a lot of things from this book. This book took me over four, 14 years to put to put together. This is revelation. This is not 20 ways to prosperity. I'm telling you, this is my wife my life is actually good for women and it's good for men also so if you have any question feel free to ask me if you have any question right now uh, the telephone number to reach me in the studio is 405-550-5135 if you have any question feel free to call me right now right this moment call me call me call me and ask that question the telephone number again is 405-550-5135 uh, I'm just typing it, putting it right there uh, for you guys to see it. You're going to see it right there. That's the telephone number right there. You can call me right in the studio. I'm going to pick up your call right this moment. I'll be able to answer you before the battery of the computer will run out. <laughs> I, I, I didn't charge it. Uh, so the battery is about to run out. And I don't want the battery to run out uh, right now. So if you have a question, uh, feel free. Feel free, feel free, feel free to call. Uh, feel free to call me. Uh, if you want to give me a little time, let me go and really get my charger and start charging up so that this is not going to go dead on us. So give me a little time. Let me just get the charger on quickly. Thank you very much. I'm back. I'm back right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to call me. Call me uh, real quick. 405-550-5135. 405-550-5135. Uh, that's the telephone number to reach me in the studio. If you have any questions for me real quick. Uh, feel free to call me. You have questions for me for the uh, Singles Connect, call me. You have questions for me uh, for the Relationship School, uh, go ahead and call me uh, in the studio right now. I'm waiting for your call. As I'm waiting for your call, let me play music for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> if you guys want to enjoy music though. If not, uh, maybe I should just shut the old stuff down and we can go. Uh, but if you want to enjoy music, I can play music as I'm waiting for uh, your phone calls to call me. Let me play this song. This is a very nice song here. So I'm going to be waiting for your phone calls to come in. 405-550-5135. Have any questions for me, feel free to call. All right, if you have other questions for me also, if your questions actually are out of what I'm treating right now, uh, you can as well just call uh, and ask for questions also. Uh, I'm going to be available here to answer all your questions this morning. So thank you everybody, thank you, thank you Tracy Godwin, thank you Anne, Lynn, 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 Thank you, Princess Gloria Smith. Thank you very much, Elini Dogbe. Okay, I got a call here. Hello? 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 Hello, hello? Hello? 
Okay, call me back, call me back. Okay, I have another caller. Hello? 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 Hello, hello, hello? 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 Yes, hello? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Hello, I can hear you. Hello? All right, I think uh, there's a problem here. Hello? Yeah, Pastor Fela, good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes. Yeah, I just quickly want to ask uh, this question. Yes. Yeah, like what you said earlier on, yeah, I quite understand that, you know, you just can't get um, a man or a woman and you just jump into marriage or... Um, you know, you have to start from getting to know each other, being yes. a friend. Yes. Um, uh, for you as a pastor, what uh, would you advise? Um, you know, two two people who are coming together, wanting to get married. How long uh, can they um, go on a courtship? How long is um, minimum and maximum? All right, thank I you very much. Recommend for them, sir. Thank you very much. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Paris. Okay, thank you very much for calling. Now, uh, it, 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 it's not about time. You see, it's not about time. It's about how well you are able to put your relationship together. Now, in the time of friendship, uh, you have to be very attentive. You have to be very focused on what you're doing. Some people can get to know you even within a year, I, 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 and it's going to be okay. Uh, are you getting me? Some people may get to know you within six months, uh, and everything will be okay. Some people have to take two years, three years to get to know you. depends on the maturity of the people that are trying to study people. Now, it's you. You see, everybody is not the same. So we cannot say, oh, three years is enough, or four years is enough, or five years is enough. It depends on the maturity of the person that is involved. All right? Now, if that person is actually very vigilant, somebody that can study people, very observant, and can look at you and get to understand you, create a friendship out of you, and be able to get to the next level within a year, I think it's okay. All right? For the friendship part of it. And then the courtship. The courtship part of it is different from friendship part. You know, you know that, my sister? Yeah. Okay? A lot of people don't understand. They don't understand that you have to start from being friends. The time of friendship, you can still cut that relationship and say, I'm not doing it again. Okay, uh, at that point in time, you have not, you have not just say, okay, I want to marry you or I'm interested in you. You are just being afraid. At that time, you will be able to know how well, know him well, before you enter into a relationship per se. And then when you enter into courtship, during time of courtship is the time you're going in, getting to know our friends, getting to know the family and all that kind of stuff like that. I really don't believe two months is enough. I don't believe four months is enough. I believe that between, when, when you enter into courtship, six months, one year, two years, depends on the maturity of the person that we're dealing with. I think that would be enough for a courtship period, man. Okay. Yeah, so but, but the person must be vigilant. The person must be very sensitive. Okay. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's it, sir. Thank yes, ma'am. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. Stay blessed, uh, sir. Bye-bye. Amen. All right, sir. Okay. All right, the telephone number is still open by the grace of God. Now, if you want to call in real quick, 405-550-5135. That's the telephone number to reach me in the studio at this point in time. Uh, the telephone is on already. If you want to make that phone call, you have a question for me, uh, go ahead and call real quick, and I'm going to pick up that call right here, right now, by the grace of God. I will be able to get to the bottom of this. So if you are in a relationship, like my sister said, uh, uh, maturity is important. Let's pick this call. Hello? Yes, hello. Can you speak up? Hello? Hello, we can hear you. Can you speak up a little bit? Okay. Yes. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? We can hear you, but we are hearing you faintly. Go ahead and ask your question and we interpret to the people. Oh, she's gone. All right, all right. So you can go ahead and call me if you want to make that phone call real quick. But please, let's speak up so that uh, other people can hear us uh, in the studio. So when you are in a relationship with somebody, the friendship part of it is actually very important. You need to lay a solid foundation 
being friend. And you understand, during the time of friendship, sex is not allowed, kissing is not allowed, you know, all that kind of stuff is not allowed, so you will be able to see clearly. Okay, the moment you enter into sexual relationship, that's when your eyes will be blocked. Your head is not thinking. Your heart will now start messing up. Because by the time you enter into sexual relationship, your head will start loving and your heart cannot think. I've said this many times and people still don't understand it. You cannot engage in sexual relationship during the time of friendship. Even during the time of courtship, you are not supposed to be into it. You are not supposed to be into it. So the telephone number is still open, 405-550-5135. You have a question for me real quick before I shut it down. Go ahead and ask your question. If you are calling from outside of America, you can actually put plus one in the front. That's plus one, 405-550-5135. That's the telephone number uh, to reach me in the studio. Let me type it again. Um so that people who are just coming in can actually just check it out. The telephone number is plus one four zero five 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 zero five one three five. This is the moment we need to ask the questions. Ask the questions right now. If you have any concern, have anything you want to ask you, ask about singles connects or maybe the relationship school, uh, you have any question that you want to ask, ask right now. We're still on the studio waiting. Plus one four zero five 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 zero five one three five. And you cannot call in. You can end up typing your question on the screen. I will read it out to the people. That's if, that's if I can see it. That's if I can see it. Now I'm seeing. Somebody saying here, yeah, is a pastor in five years. I've had two different disappointments from two different guys. Now I have lost interest in men. I don't feel like going into any relationship. The problem now, pastor, is that everybody around me is telling me to stop selecting men. But okay, let's leave this call. Let's leave this call. Hello? Yeah, call again, sir. All right. Um, sir, I want to ask uh, this question as well. Okay. What do you say about um, a distant relationship? Do you support that um, as a man of God? A distance, distance relationship is for people that are anointed. <laughs> Anointed. Anointed people. <laughs> this type of relationship is actually <laughs> yes, ma'am. Because this type of relationship is actually very difficult. Out of sight is out of mind uh, most of the time. But people that are anointed, you know, they've been married uh, and they have kids and they are godly and they are actually have understanding of why the other one is going away and how long is it going to be gone for. Uh, those ones can actually say, "Well, let me just put my life on the line for this and let's go into it and stuff like that." But 98% of them, they always come back being disappointed anyway uh, because long, long distance relationship is a killer of relationship. So many things can happen. The body is not a stone. You know, you come across people that can seduce you. You may actually fall into a kind of an error. And after you fall into an error, I'm telling you, it's not going to be easy to rectify. So many times, it's going to be a error that will never be able to be rectified. And you know, funny thing, it always be... The, it will always affect the women because the men may fall into a situation and probably they got somebody pregnant or maybe they got into another relationship with another woman and at the end of the day it's something that they cannot rectify and the woman will be the one to be affected in that kind of relationship so personally I would not recommend long distance relationship for anyone uh, I, I was in it for 15 years I'm telling you it, it, wasn't, no, it wasn't okay wasn't that easy. I was in a long distance relationship, even though I do go home, maybe sometimes one time in a year, sometimes two times a year, sometimes one time in two years, for the whole 15 years. It wasn't that okay. That's why I said it's for people that are anointed. Anointed people can, can run that long distance relationship. Don't pray for it. Don't ask anybody to go into it because listen, out of mind, you know, for people who say it's not out of sight, out of sight is not out of mind. But let me tell you, yeah, most of the time, out of sight is out of mind. Out of mind, yeah. Yes. What about in a situation whereby they are they, they, they are making a plan to come together? Okay. What would you say about that? I don't understand. Making a plan to come together. Yeah, not that, not that um, they want to stay apart. Okay. 
they don't want to stay apart. Maybe for one reason or the other, yes. they are not, um, they can't come together, but they are actually working out to be together. Of course, you know, it, it, it can happen. It can happen, depends on them, the two of them anyway. Okay, if the woman is matured enough to understand what the guy is doing, or if the guy is actually understanding enough to be able to trust the woman, uh, most of the time men don't trust women. Uh, and then because of long distance relationship, no, 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 I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. Women can take our, our nonsense. Women can say, okay, I forgive you. Women can say, okay, it's all right. All right. So, but, but for women, if you hear somebody slept with your wife, I'm telling you that's the end of that relationship. Okay, but for a woman, if you hear that my husband slept with somebody, okay, a woman can still forgive the man. And I say, mm, okay, it's all right. Sure. In as much that he's not going to marry the girl, all right. But for a man, it's actually difficult for us to forgive a woman and trust a woman for that on that level. We can't. We might say we will, but we can't. If the man is the one yeah. pushing, I say, don't worry, let me be the one to go to America. You know, you stay back. It's because the man is actually putting that up because he knows that the benefit will come to him. All right, yeah. so he will say that. All right, but. If the woman should be caught in any kind of uh, whatever, the man will end up leaving and will never come back. But in a situation whereby the two of them they have understanding that we want to be together, it's not like we want to be separated, uh, but the issue is that one must have to go first uh, before the other will join. And they, they can actually go ahead and just put it in and just make that sacrifice uh, prayerfully, uh, longing to be able to be reunited in no time. Uh, because when it's taking too much of time, one year, two years, three years, before you get to know it, mm, it might end up in another disaster. Okay? That's right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello? Hello? Could your small business benefit from a bank loan? All right, uh, we're still expecting people to call in. The telephone number to still call in is 405-5135. So if anybody wants to call in, we can go ahead and call in uh, on the show real quick at this point in time. Uh, I was reading a question before that call came in. Uh, let me go ahead and finish up. He said, the, people, the problem now, Pastor, is that everybody around me is telling me to stop selecting men. Uh, but the truth is that I have I've lost interest. What should I do now? You, you cannot lose interest because, you see, listen, disappointment is always a blessing in disguise. Uh, because some people have disappointed you doesn't mean that there is no other guy out there that is actually going to be looking for someone like you. All right? All you got to do is just to make yourself available and make sure that you are a woman that man need, not a woman that needs a man. Okay? Develop yourself. Package yourself. Be able to stand on your own. Don't be a woman that wants to depend upon a man. Be an independent woman. And I'm telling you, you will find men that will come to you. Men, we men, we are always looking for a woman that can add value to our lives. We are not looking for a woman that will become a parasite on us. We don't want to carry any kind of load. We want a woman that will add value to our lives. So when, when, when they see you, they, they come across you, they look at you, they study you, they will know, they will say, mm -mm, this one is going to add value to my life. And then they sit down there and they stay there and they're going to be married to you. So don't give up. Uh, and I believe that you need a little bit of counseling also. Uh, so if you want to do counsel, if you want to go through the counseling session, you can call me after the show. We can s schedule a counseling session for you and be able to help you to get back on your feet. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions and then I will coach you through, uh, you know, the, the journeys, you know, through. And then we can register you at the Chingus Connect so that we can look critically in the life of those people that you are coming across, people that are coming into your life. There are some people that attract bad people. They are told by people not because they are bad, but because their packaging is bad, uh, because uh, or because they are, they are, the the way they carry themselves is bad. So they attract bad people. Uh, their company, their friends, they are bad. You know, your friends will affect the kind of people that you you you, you will attract. Your dressing will affect the kind of people you will uh, attract. The platform where you go to will affect the kind of people you attract. Okay, so you have to be able to learn to do the right things so that right people will connect with you. You are looking for educated people. There is a way to attract educated people. You just don't can't be behaving like a reflag and be expecting educated people to come to you. All right? You can't be dressing as a, as, 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 as a prostitute and be expecting a very decent man to look for you. You can't just be saying all manners of things and especially what you put on your post. I mean, the post on your on your timeline, on your Facebook page. Like some, you know, I went to a page one day of a lady who was uh, kind of like really desperate to get married 
And I said, well, I said, I need to just check your page. And I went there and I saw all our pictures are all nude pictures. All the posts on our page is women with, uh, you know, half dressed with shaking their hair, bum bum all around the place and all kinds of stuff. You know, so, and I looked at her and said, sister, you can't get a nice guy like this. You have to become what you're looking for. What you're looking for is what you're going to be. All right, you're looking for a decent man, you have to be decent. You are looking for a godly man, you have to be godly. You are looking for an educated man, you have to be educated. Okay, these are all the things you have to put together with it for you to be able to find the right person uh, for your life. So the packaging part of it, the education part of it, you know, the way you carry yourself, the way your life is, the way you run your life, your kind of friends, or, you know, it, 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 they, they are very important. These are the things that you have to look out for uh, as you're thinking of what to do, how to find uh, a man or how you want a man to uh, be able to find you and locate you. So please, you know, it, it's very, very important. We have to talk about it. And if you are based in Dallas, you can come over to the conference. Uh, this is a part of what we're going to be going through. And my strategy this time is going to be different because I'm going to ask, I'm going to allow people to just ask me questions. So I will answer the question. And during the question and answer time, then I'll be teaching along the line. It's not just going to be like Pastor is just talking, 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 talking. I want to be able to feel you. I want to know what is affecting your life. I want to know where do you want me to come in about your life. And I don't want anybody to just feel shy or whatsoever it is. You say, listen, let me tell you something. Everybody has got problems. Every one of us, we have marital issues. So if you're trying to hide and say, oh, I don't want people to know, I don't want them to know this, everybody's got something. So it's better for you to open up so there will be solution uh, to your situation now than for you to just continue to hide it. When you continue to hide it, you may not be able to find solution uh, to the things of your life. So that's just the issue. So if you have a question for me, feel free to call me in the studio. The telephone number is still available, 405-550-5135. That's the telephone number to reach me in the studio. If you're calling from outside of the United States, you can actually put plus one in front of that number. Make it plus one, 405-550-5135. So if you don't have any other question today, uh, maybe we should just uh, go ahead and just shut it down. Thank you, everybody, for attending. Thank you for watching this broadcast. I really appreciate you guys. For people who live in Dallas, <laughs> the lion is coming to Dallas by the grace of God this coming Saturday. I'll go on my page and go ahead. People are registering already. Another alert just came in. Another alert just came in just now as I'm actually talking to you. Somebody just registered an event, event bright right now. So go ahead and do that. Go ahead, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and register yourself. Go ahead and register yourself for Dallas 2019. Relationship School is coming uh, to Dallas. None is perfect. Only God, only God is, only God is. No marriage. Thank you very much, Han. Nothing is perfect. So you open up. So thank you for registering. People are registering already. I know that a lot just came in just now. Thank you very much for registering. I'm going to meet you guys in Dallas by the grace of God. I'm going to meet you in Dallas. We are going to be talking over this whole stuff. I'm going to hear your side. I'm going to listen to your questions and listen. I'm going to talk from my own experience and I'm going to teach you. And at the end of the day, you will never regret coming for that event. You're going to be getting two books inside of the package. You're going to get all that materials that are going to help you uh, in your relationship at the same time. Oh, you live in Germany. Okay, we can. you can call me. Me and you can actually do a video call, uh, Sister Tracy Garvin. Uh, you live in Germany, doesn't matter. I think I have I think I have a worse man for you in Germany. Uh, contact me. We're gonna talk. We're gonna talk. I think I have a man in Germany, very nice guy, very nice guy in Germany, Frankfurt, Germany. I have a guy there. I'm gonna introduce him to you by the grace of God. So Listen, ladies and gentlemen, you are anywhere in the whole wide world. You're in Nigeria, you're in Canada, you're in UK. The Singles Connect is for everybody. So you want to connect on the Singles Connect, feel free to give me a call, 405-550-5135. The website is about to be ready. People will be allowed to go over and create profile there right now by the grace of God. Uh, and uh, you know, after the after the website is done, though, anyway. So that's just the issue by the grace of God. So listen to me. <laughs> Tracy uh, Gavin, I'm serious. I have a guy for you already, but the grace of God, a very nice guy. I'm telling you, a very nice guy. Very, very nice guy. You will love that guy. <laughs> You're going to love the guy. You're going to love that guy. Sion <laughs> Dipel. 
I'm telling you, you're gonna love that guy by God's grace. All right. So if you are out there, you're in Dallas, you want to attend the relationship school, go to my page. You're gonna see the link there. Click on the link for this relationship school. It's gonna take you there. You're gonna register yourself for couples is a hundred dollars. For single is fifty dollars. Uh, over there, if you are a divorcee, you are a widow or widower, you're gonna pay fifteen fifty dollars. If you are a couple coming in together, you are paying a hundred dollars by the grace of God. And in the morning, it's gonna be singles connect. Singles connect in the morning is free. It's a free event. You're coming in ten o'clock and you're leaving between twelve and one because I'm gonna have time for everybody. I want to see everybody one on one and be able to answer all your questions in Dallas by the grace of God. And I'm gonna be very constant in Dallas. The relationship school is gonna be coming in to every part of America, Europe, and in Nigeria also. And we're gonna be going to Dallas also by the grace of God in Jesus' name. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for connecting on this show today. Let me play a song to you for you guys before I leave. Let me play this song before I leave. Uh <laughs> so that you guys can have some oh my god, I've forgotten that if I should play this song Facebook is going to block me. <laughs> Facebook is going to block me. Let me play another one. Let me play another one. And uh, this is going to help you. It's going to blow your mind. This is Tokwe Alabi. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for connecting. I really appreciate you guys for connecting. Thank you. God bless you. Remember, Dallas Relationship School is coming up this Saturday, the 9th of February. If you have friends in Dallas, you have families, you have relations in Dallas, feel free to connect them with me. Thank you for registering. Another registration uh, 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 alert just came in just now. Another alert just came in. Thank you very much. Uh, you want to register? Remember, you want to register? Go ahead and do so right now. And if you're out there, you already registered, you have the link already. Can you please post that particular link? below this video for people that will be willing to register you have friends you have relatives in dallas who are going through relationship problems or you want them to learn about relationships or the ones that are not married you want them to come for singles connect feel free to send them the link let them understand let them connect to this particular broadcast in jesus name i have a lot of singles based in nigeria also i have a lot and lot of singles in canada in europe uh, and here in america you want to check out my list Free free to come for the singles connect by the grace of God. And the Lord will be with you and bless you in Jesus' name. Have a beautiful and beautiful and marvelous week in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you.